In this video, we're going to look at quick replies um, for your bot. So if we go to My Bots, click on the bot we want to work with, and here we have what the, the bot is going to say. And then normally uh, you would go to Connections, and you could uh, put in different words uh, that they type. Like down here, if response to this interaction contains the word no or no, then go to goodbye. We're going to go ahead and delete that. And we'll go up here to quick replies. And if we click this, uh, check this box, disable text input function. Uh, what this means is that they won't be able to type in an answer. They'll only be able to use these quick replies. So if we do one for yes and add a connection. If the response contains the whole word yes, go to let's chat. And then we'll do another quick one for no and go through the same process, add a connection. If response contains the whole word no, then go to goodbye. And that's all we have to it and if you see now these two quick replies are down here and if we go to our chatbot to test it you can see hello I am a chatbot would you like to chat and it's not possible to type anything down here they only have two options they can say yes when it says great let's chat or if we go back would you like to chat they select no and the chatbot says goodbye. Uh, this is a good way if you want to make sure that you lead the people using your chatbot down a particular path. Uh, it just makes, makes it easier to set up when they only have a certain number of options to be able to click on. And that's it for this video.